This is the way they light the winter, plenty of snow. The Bavarian-based company Gminer sells snow plows. This winter has led to a boom in sales. The company is using the opportunity to take some promotional shots of its latest model. Every snowfall makes me happy. It warms my heart. Winter always has a soothing effect and winter is extremely important for our business. Simply put, we live from it. And at the moment, the company is living very well indeed. Its workshop is operating at full capacity and its employees are doing overtime. The hard winter took many municipal governments by surprise. They're now ordering more blades and grit spreaders for their snow plows. It's great for us. Everyone's talking about the economic crisis and we've tripled our turnover. Other entrepreneurs, like Wilfried Foster, can only dream of that kind of success. The chef runs a restaurant hotel a few kilometers away and has yet to profit from winter tourism. He relies on family celebrations from his regular clients. He also puts the guests up. We have a birthday on Sunday, in March come the weddings, and then it's mainly the hotel stays. His little hotel has 17 rooms, which all need heating. One look into the oil tank in the parking lot, and Foster knows exactly what this winter has brought him. Higher energy costs. There's not much left, just about 12 centimeters. That would be about 600 liters. I last checked it back in December. Well, in two months, we've used around 5,000 litres. Wait a second, that's nearly double what we would normally use. Lots of snow and sub-zero temperatures. Experts fear the cold weather is hindering economic growth in Germany. One reason is that it's just too cold to build. The problem even affects Gminer, whose snow plows are selling like hotcakes. To increase production, they need to build new facilities. But construction stopped in December, despite a looming deadline. The building needs to be done by the end of April. There's no alternative. We should already be building again. But that's unlikely to happen. It's forecast to get even colder. For the customer, the delays are annoying. For the construction company, they're life-threatening. Contractor Michael Kraus can only wait and hope for better weather. He and his father are using the time to do maintenance on the equipment. But there's no work for their 30 employees. Half the workers are on seasonal short-time work. The other half are at home, laid off. The family business is virtually out of operation, but even a company that's not doing any business still requires money. The fixed costs remain, the financing, our loans need to be paid. But unfortunately, there's no revenue coming in. Construction companies across Germany are facing the same problem. They're all waiting for spring to come. Until then, business is at a standstill. Few companies outside snow removal firms in Germany are profiting from the icy weather. For now, at least, the country is still firmly in the grips of winter. <laughs>